everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kayla Roach and today it is the first Toronto Reptile Expo of 2022. Slightly excited. <laughs> I was Slightly. not able I was, I was not able to sleep last night. I felt like a kid on Christmas morning. You know? <laughs> I'm here with my sister Jamie. This is her first time attending a reptile expo. Yes. Should we get going? Yeah. All right. Hit the road! <laughs> And back in the reptile room what a crazy day that was so I'm gonna do a little haul of everything I picked up at the expo today starting with the one that I am most excited about so today I picked up a crested gecko a female for my very first crested gecko breeding project so this is very exciting she is a proven breeder she's already laid some very healthy clutches and I'll be pairing her with my Crested Gecko Taz to work on a project with some really nice dark bases. She's not even fully fired up right now. She gets like jet black when she's fired up and so does Taz. So I'm really hoping they can produce some dark, dark babies. So this is Namine. She's three years old. She is absolutely beautiful. Very calm too.
<laughs> Nothing happened. I just love that really dark base on her. It's absolutely stunning. That's all for the animals I bought. I mean, technically I got a lot of feeders, but that doesn't count. So now let's start with some of the items I purchased. The first being an incubation box for my Crest Gecko breeding project. I know you can just use deli cups or whatnot, but I decided I wanted to purchase one of these little containers that have the egg trays in them. There's uh, plenty of room for a few different clutches. Next, I got a bunch of metal feeding dishes. I got the smaller 0.5 ounces and then the larger dishes. I've been using plastic feeding cups for a very long time now and they are quite wasteful. So I decided I wanna start using some that I can reuse so that I'm not wasting as much plastic. It's better for the environment. Then I got some Pangea calcium powder without D3. Next thing I got so excited about, I got four of these little acrylic enclosures for slings. They are so well designed, they're adorable, and the acrylic is just crystal clear, which is something I really like because I like to have my tarantulas in nice, display enclosures, not scratched up plastic or jars that you got from the dollar store. And I'm not calling out people who do that. I'm just very picky when it comes to that. And I like to have enclosures that are aesthetically pleasing. So when I saw these, look how cute they are. These are made by Reptizoo. They have these little lids that slide open and they latch into place with a magnet. So yeah, and there's the cross ventilation. This is just adorable, I'm really excited about it. So I'm gonna have to do a video rehousing my slings into this adorable little enclosure. Stay tuned for that. Next from the hidden path, I got a bag of leaves. I got leaf litter because you always need lift, lift, lift litter. You always need leaf litter. And this bag is like packed with it which is nice because sometimes when you buy leaf litter, there's like three leaves in it. You know when you get like a bag of Lay's chips and it's 90% air? That happens a lot with leaf litter. So it's really relieving to see bags that are actually stuffed full, hence why I bought it. <laughs> also from the hidden path, I got this absolutely beautiful plant. This is an Agleonima, Agleonima, Agleonima. Something along those lines, okay? It's a pretty plant. I just fell in love with this. It has beautiful pink stems, pink on the leaves. It's beautiful. And I'm going to be putting this in my red-eyed tree frogs enclosure. I think my tree frog is gonna love these large leaves and I think the pink and the green will really look good against the colors of my tree frog. So I'm really excited about that. We love plants. Then I got a bag of Substratum by Exoterra. We got more of that. And then I got rats, mice, rats, more mice. Then we got silkworms. Silkworms are incredibly nutritious as feeder insects, and they're also quite adorable while they are alive. And then I got a box of 500 crickets, but I don't think, I don't think you really care about that. But while we're here, why don't we see if Bindi, my Acumonitor, wants a silkworm? I'm sorry, little buddy. You just happen to be very nutritious. She has to annihilate the silkworm first. We're gonna let her deal with that little silkworm. So that sums up this video. 
What an incredible day this was. If you wanna see more of my animals outside of YouTube, you can follow my account on Instagram, which is kaylas.critters. I post about all my animals there. Thanks for watching and I will see you soon.